Well, good morning, folks. Start of a new week. Out here in the homestead, it's been raining the last couple days. Should clear up today, hoping. Our uh, tarps are doing well. Still don't have any any work being done out here. Just not cool. Gonna have to call these folks today. Find out what's going on. They should have been out here by now. Uh, today, let's get some stuff done. I gotta get out to the deer stands, swap out these chips and the cameras, and maybe we'll do some, uh, we'll ground the solar panels today, because that would be uh, a big bonus. We'll ground them up and make her a little bit safer, one step at a time. Looks like something got at this, uh, a bird, maybe a fox, coyote, something definitely ate on a bird out here. Just happened to see that run a ride down the trail, pretty, uh, pretty crazy, it's right here. That's a, uh, I don't know, I can still see the garage maybe 40 yards from here, maybe not even 40, uh, yeah about 40 yards. It's pretty crazy though, see uh, Something ate a bird out here. So definitely someone's out here. We'll check the cameras. We'll see what we got. chip out here. This is this cheap old camera. Seems to work real good though.
yeah, it looks like this little corner of the property was used as a dump for somebody for, seems like, not, not a short amount of time either, because there is a pile here, a pile there, a pile here. It's just scattered all over this area. Sad. Uh, I knew this when I bought it. I knew that this was out here. I had walked this numerous times. So I've uh, been meaning to get out here and clean this up. I just haven't been able to uh, find the time. So, yeah, I need to. I need to find the time, but right now it's just not it. Uh, got this camera out here. This is probably my best camera that I have. It's one of the nicer ones, I guess. And uh, this is uh, my nephew hunts, gun hunts this spot in the uh in the winter so <clears throat> but i'm trying to i got three different spots so what i'm trying to do is figure out where the deer are coming how they're coming in and find the most opportune areas to hunt in the fall but i haven't really discerned what's the best spot yet my dad's got another one right down it's probably like, uh, I don't know, 500, 600 yards that way. He's got a stand and he's also got a camera up there. So we kind of uh, talk it out, see, what, see what's hit, coming, going, where it's coming from, that type of stuff. To find out what the best places on the property are to uh, hunt. So I have three that I'm scoping out right now. He's got one. We're going to figure this out. We're going to have a good hunting season. So... Let's swap this camera chip out and uh, get a move on. Let's, let's move out. And this is our last camera. This was a Black Friday buy. Not a big fan of this one. Looks like we had a tree that's dead. This is a dead tree. It's pretty big. But yeah, we had a big branch come down during the storm. So, and this one all we have out here oh. all we have out here is this nice and uh it's a mineral stone rock if you will they seem to last longer than the than the bricks that i have out there the mineral blocks i guess but it seems like they need to be like right on top of this to figure out that it's here so I'm not sure if we'll get anything off of this camera. I am I'm I don't even know if this one is working. But uh the two blocks seem to do a lot better. That one's like a game block slash mineral block. So that one seems to uh attract the deer more. This rock is not I guess it doesn't smell. I guess uh when it rains, the salt, the minerals come out. Maybe they can smell it. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll see if we get anything off this camera. Let's, let's get this chip change out and uh, let's get moving. Check this out. Look at that. We got like 10 little corn stalks growing right here. Right under the squirrel feeder. 
in the garage. I'm gonna have to pick some weeds in my wall. It's not looking very healthy here. But got another corn stalk right here. I got uh, one, two, three, four more corn stalks down there. We got two more corn stalks coming up here. And then we got our sunflowers in our corn stalk going over there. This one is definitely growing corn already. It's growing the sunflower. Man, it's looking good. But yeah, we got a nice, we got two stalks here, but we got one corn we're trying to grow here. This one's uh, getting bigger as we speak. Our sunflower is looking good, blooming. This one's a big one. We got another big one coming on this side. We got more trying to open up here. That is so crazy. The, am the amount of corn stalks is, is, is actually shocking to, to say the least. The squirrels must bury them corn or maybe they just drop it on the ground. But it's weird that we have corn stalks growing all through here. And the squirrel feeders over there. And I got another squirrel feeder in that corner of the driveway. So they must carry the corn or maybe the rain washes it down. I'm not sure, but it's cool. Cool, we're gonna have a cornfield right out here in the opening. How crazy is that? That's awesome. Well, I think we're gonna accomplish something that's kind of well overdue. We're gonna get a ground wire and a grounding bar in the ground here to ground out these two uh, solar combiner boxes, give them some protection. Well overdue, should have been done a long time ago. But we got some time, let's knock this out. Should be fairly simple, I think I got everything we need. We got our wiring, our saws, tools, we're only going to use a four foot ground rod. I think that should be fine as long as we got something in the ground to ground it. I don't want to do an eight footer. But I think four feet should be just fine. Better something than nothing. And then we'll pound her in. We got some conduit. We'll try to finagle something up here to get our conduit up and looking halfway decent. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get this done. We'll get it knocked out. So we got our first ground and we'll get her measured. I forgot the cutters, so we're gonna go ahead and use a saw, try to cut this thing, see how that goes. We got this one cut with the saw. Not easy. Cutting into my wood here a little bit. Just a tad. 
Should have brought a clippers. I didn't feel like going back to the garage to grab one because I'm lazy. But we're going to go ahead and get this uh, conduit on here. Try to protect this thing from hitting anything else. So we're going to have to do some measurements and uh, we're going to have to cut this uh, conduit up a little bit. Yeah, we'll get her. Well, we should have wrapped it around the back first. Maybe we'll do that. Wrapped around here. Straighten you out. Get you right up in there. There, here. Got to wrap around here nice and tightly. Mm. Here, it don't look bad. I mean, it's not amazing or anything, but. Let me pull that down a little bit. Maybe we can even go further than that. It leaves us a little bit of a gap up there. But all we gotta do is put this on, put this clamp on, and bury her up. See if see if you can see. We're definitely a little long. That's okay. We can go further down in the ground than we need to dang roots in the way <clears throat> then we just need to tighten this clamp oops okay grab the old croissant wrench the one wrench it does every bolt You can adjust it the correct way. Mm. Okay, she ain't going nowhere. All right, just in case you couldn't see. With all the roots in the way. We got our ground wire coming in onto our ground rod clamped in. We're looking really good. All that's left is bury the hole and uh, clean up a little bit of uh, closing some panels and uh, clean up our tools. Yeah it's looking good. I like it. Just throw this dirt back in here. Well, folks, it's grass cutting day. It's not a day that I dread. It's not a day that I enjoy by any means. But something that's got to get done. And I'll tell you what. I Before I did this, having to cut the grass weekly, whatever, I was told myself that I won't have any grass. Just because it's a pain. It's a pain having grass. Gotta cut it, it's, it's, it's the upkeep, I guess, that makes it a, a, an issue. So I told myself, no grass, none. And then I cut more grass here than I have in my whole life, I think. I cut out front, I cut the trail, I cut the back of the garage, which the back of the garage is, is looks basically like a hay field. It's going so well. <clears throat> But we gotta get her cut and uh yeah just you gotta do what you gotta do this grass was needed for erosion control 
the front is for beautification the trail is for usage I don't know it's something that's got to be done weekly probably maybe if bi-weekly if you can try to get away with it but weekly it is let's just get it done The hard part is done at least. Forty six and a quarter. All right, we got all this done. So now, we gotta let it dry, and then we'll go ahead and get some uh, some poly on it. And then we can start nailing this thing. So we'll let this dry up. We'll start to, uh, maybe this evening, or it's already evening, but a little bit later, we'll check to see if this is totally dry, and uh, hopefully we can get a coat on this. And uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens coat of nice shiny stuff to make our trim pop a little bit.
All right, we'll get the rest of these, get them going. got to uh, finish up this window today and uh, hopefully everything fits precisely that would be nice uh, it's a little bit of a puzzle I got to figure it out we got to put this stuff in the right way but this will be probably a little overkill for a garage but I live in here so but we got enough for this window this one window and we got three other ones to to do we'll see what we can get at uh, one thing I did get accomplished is uh, I got that drywall that drywall is on the front wall and uh, it's looking good it's looking really good it turned out pretty well there's a few spots I'd like to maybe put some patches in but all in all I mean it's doing the job doing the trick so let's get this uh, prepped and ready to go we gotta get some sealant in here. We'll seal in the corners. <clears throat> we'll also seal on the on the wood itself. Try to keep it as good as possible.
I like it. I think it looks great. A few minor mistakes, I see, but uh, all in all, what a nice upgrade to the window. It looks a uh, thousand times better than what it did. Uh, we got these other two windows. I think I'll use a different uh, size wood. Since this is the big window, I went with uh, one by sixes and uh, one by fours. So I think on the sides, what I'd like to do is maybe I will do one by fours and one by threes for the windows. Ah, uh, maybe one by twos, but we'll see. I'll have to have one in hand and just to to match it. But I think one by twos is probably too small. Maybe a one by four and one by threes surrounding would be nice for the smaller windows, because that might be just too big for the for the other windows. But man, check that out. Does that look nice? Looks so good. Don't mind the mess on the table or anything, but man, does that look good. Oh, hey folks, it's been another week out here. Can I really call it a productive week? I don't think so, but we got some forward movement. As you can see, we got no dirt work done out here. It's kind of sad. Uh, I just keep getting pushed by this uh, contractor and I'm gonna have to see what's going on because this is getting out of hand. We keep getting slammed with uh, just guys not showing up. It's just uh, it's sad, sad, but uh, it's a true statement of life. I know it's true because I can see what it looks like back there. <clears throat> but we've got uh, a lot of corn growing out here. Some sunflower seeds. That's a little crazy. I figure I'm just gonna have to put my hand up to, to Fred over here, you know? I think what happens is he gets tired of me not feeding him. So he went ahead and planted his own farm. And uh, yeah, it's coming up really well. He's a better farmer than I am. Good old Fred. I tell you what, he's, uh, he's got quite the, the corn field going out here uh, sunflowers doing amazing he's got corn growing all through here and I probably weed whacked a bunch down a few weeks ago or whatever when I did my weed whacking and poor Fred that's why he's so mad at me all the time I don't know so hopefully we get something some movement with this dirt and we we got to get this rolling here i'm gonna call again today we'll figure that out but hey guys uh the beauty of this place is what keeps me going i can tell you i feel like i'm right where i'm supposed to be there's not a day that goes by that i don't uh cherish what i have out here so this is dan this is the northwoods dream i want you all to have a great week and i'll see you next week peace